Okay, I'm ready for my milk bath. Yeah, I'm ready for my milk bath. Are you excited? Good morning, guys. So today is Sayla's six month photo shoot. I can't believe that I just said that, six months. But, um, and since I haven't vlogged in a while, I was gonna kinda do a life update a little later. But, um, so we are gonna be working with my best friend again, just right across the street from um, my house. And hopefully the flowers aren't all gone because we were gonna shoot it in the flower field. But she's getting a milk bath today, so I'm excited about that. And I'm also gonna let you guys know kinda what's going on with our life. I've got lots of videos I need to upload. I just have not had time to edit them and upload them yet, so I'm working on that. But I just got out of the shower, so I need to get ready for the day. Brittany is on her way to do this photo shoot, so I'm gonna get ready. We've got little miss ready for her um, photo shoot. I didn't quite get to get finished ready. Get, get, get. Still not ready. I'm still not ready for the day. There's Britt. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> um, so I'm not finished getting ready. I can't say what I was trying to say, but we're about to head over to the field and hopefully there's some flowers over there. And get this photo shoot started. She's like staring. <laughs> making this bath water, milk bath, with almond milk and just water. Feel of it, see how it feels. Feels warm. Good. It's almost there. Oh, that's what you get to get inside of. It's not gonna get real white, because this is... Yeah, that's fine, that's okay. but that looks, I mean, in the picture, it looks really white. Alright, so this is what we're working with. All these beautiful flowers. <laughs> Just kidding. That's the only ones in this whole field. It was full of really pretty blue flowers and purple flowers and white flowers. And they all died. So, Okay. That did not go as planned. She ate a rose petal. And I had to fish it out of her mouth. Which caused a tantrum. She's still naked. Just didn't go. We got some cute. Oh yeah, hopefully we've got some that that will work. But we're taking family pictures on Friday, so what we didn't get today, hopefully we can get on Friday. So we will see. What do you think? So we're riding in a car without a car seat. We just came like across the street. It was just easier to load everything up in the car. Yeah, so we're not on a main road. So no worries. This girl is sleepy. <laughs> I laid her down and she went straight to second her thumb. So apparently photo shoots wear her out. So we're gonna put her down for a nap. Okay, so I have her down for a nap. And I wanted to update you guys on what is going on with our life because I haven't been on here very much lately. 
So in one of our videos at the beginning of the year, we had talked about um, selling our house. We'd still planned on doing that, um, but then we decided we wanted to build instead of buy another house. So Brian and I have been looking for land in the area that we are wanting to live. So we were about to put an offer on a piece of land um, and somebody else placed an offer and it got accepted right before we did. So we took that as a sign that it wasn't meant for us to have that one. Um, so we're still kind of like looking, but we're not looking extremely hard. Um, just some things that have come up in our life that we kind of have decided that maybe it's just not the right time yet. So I don't know. But um, so I am in the middle of redecorating our house again and um, working on that. So also Brian got asked to speak at a conference in Jamaica. So we get to go to Jamaica in July and I'm pretty excited about that. The hassle has been getting passport for Sela and making sure that mine still is going to be approved because of the um, my name changing. So on my passport my maiden name is on there and then now of course I have my married name. Um, so we're just going to take my our marriage certificate and my license and they put our ticket under my maiden name so hopefully I will get to get on the flight so um, if you have any advice on what to pack or what to um, expect with traveling with a baby out of the country leave it in comments below because I could always use some tips and some help and um, I'm still doing a lot of research on that as well so I don't know we will see we'll see how that goes so I got sailing this cute little float right here to take with us to Jamaica and I'm also going on a girl's trip with my mom and um, for her 50th birthday so I like this little thing it has the um, that covers it up and then it has like this little play area that she can keep her toys so I hope that she likes it she liked the pool she liked the pool um, at my parents' house the other day, so um, it. Uh, I think that maybe she'll like it. I don't know. I was holding her in the pool, so we will see. But so another thing that has happened: my parents are moving out of their house that they've lived in for 24 years. Um, I pretty much grew up in that house. I was three when they built it, so. We have been helping them pack up everything. They sold their house the very first day that it was on the market and they got full asking price for it. So um, we really believe that this is God's way of just working things out and putting it in the order that he wants it and you know, all that stuff. So they are going to build their house. So I'm really excited for them. Initially they were going to live with us until they got their house built, but they ended up being able to live in their rental that they have um, so that worked out for them it's gonna save them on storage and stuff too and then <clears throat> once they get their house built and they move in then they can rent that out again so instead of my parents I got my sister my middle sister now lives with us so um, I wasn't really sure how it was gonna be but I hardly ever see her she's um, we see her in the mornings right before she leaves her work and then we're usually in bed by the time she gets home so honestly it doesn't seem any different than what it was before but um, yeah so that's kind of like our update for um, what has been going on I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I haven't shared with you guys um, Brian and I have been going to CrossFit, the CrossFit gym um, on Fridays, and I've been doing CrossFit again, and I love it. I'm so happy to be back doing that again because I just feel like I've been able to um, be myself again. So it's been really nice, and I haven't lost any more weight that I know of. Um, I'm pretty much at the same weight that I was 
um, right before I got pregnant. My body fat percentage is still up just a little bit um, compared to what it used to be. So I'm still working on that. But from what I hear, like when you're breastfeeding, like your body tends to hold on to fat more. I don't know if that's true, but almost every woman that I've talked to that breastfed um, said that once they quit breastfeeding, that their body like kind of woke up and started going back to what they used to look like. So I don't know. Um, I feel like I've definitely um, started toning up more. So I don't know. It's um, I'll be glad when I finally get back to the way I looked before. The only thing is, is probably by that time I'll be ready to have another kid and it's all going to start over again, but I don't know. We, uh, we've we talked about um, kind of when we want to have kids again or another kid and I think that like I want to nurse Taylor until she's a year old and then I want to give my body like a break for a year. Um, just no breastfeeding, no babies, just kind of let my body get back um, on a rhythm. Um, just eat healthy, work out, and stuff like that, and then maybe start trying again because I'll be 27 in a couple months, and if I wait too much longer, I mean, I don't know if it'll affect me or not, but it's just getting closer to 30, and I don't know. Everybody says that the older you are, the harder the pregnancy is, so I don't know. We will see, but... I kind of hope that we have a boy, just because I would like to have a boy, um, but I mean, if we have another girl, I'm excited about that too, and I think that the next time, I don't want to find out what it is until the birth, so that's what I'm saying right now. It could change when I'm pregnant, but that's what I'm saying right now, so that's kind of like my future plans, our future plans. Um, Brian is really working hard on hopefully making it to regionals in the CrossFit Open next year. So he has been training really hard. He's hired a coach um, to help get him there. He's completely changed his diet. Um, we were both doing like lower carb, higher fats. Um, he has started fasting two or three days a week, um, intermittent fasting, and then some days he would fast for like 24 hours which has really cut down on our grocery bill, if you can believe it. Um, so I can't fast like that just because I am nursing, so I need some extra calories to produce the milk. But, um, so my food intake didn't really change, but our grocery bill was like really coming down and then now he's gonna have to start taking in some more carbs again. So, and more calories to put on some weight and gain some strength. So, anyways, that's going to be a new thing for us. And hopefully our grocery bill doesn't go up too much. Because or eating organic and healthy is, yes, it's expensive. Um, but it's just something that we do. We don't have a TV. We don't have cable. You know, some things that others do we don't do so that we can eat healthier we don't go out to eat very often um, we went out to eat for Mother's Day that was probably the first time in two or three months that we've actually been to a restaurant so you know we make some sacrifices and that's okay with us that's how we want to live um, but you know with him adding in these extra ones I hope it doesn't go up too much because we don't have a lot to spare right now let's see what else is there Oh, I've started a garden, um, or started my garden this year. I'm building a compost, and I've actually got to go finish building it today and filming the um, how I built it. I don't really know if it's going to be uh, something that people will learn from, except for maybe what not to do, but um, that's what I'm working on today, and I've got like four or five videos that I've got to edit and upload to my channel to get it going again um, 
then Sayla turned six months on Saturday, so we had to do her six month update. So I'm busy working on this stuff. I just haven't got it uploaded and edited yet. So be patient with me and um, I hope to um, keep you guys updated from here on out. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog for today because I do have to make that video um, for the compost. And um, oh, one more thing. I wanted to tell you guys that I'm thinking about changing the channel name um, to Home Life. So right now it's just my name, Megan Hurst, but um, because of the type of videos that I want to make, um, I think Home Life kind of describes it a little bit better because I don't want it to just be vlogs all the time, even though those are really easy for me to edit and upload. I want to do things about food and health and beauty and mom life, mom hacks, um, how to be a better wife. So I just feel like home life kind of describes those things in one title and it's a little bit better than just my name. So I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think. You think I should keep it as my name or do you think that I should change it to home life or maybe even another name that you might have that is um, a little bit more descriptive of kind of what I want to do. So Anyways, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, I'm still trying to grow it guys, um, still have the goal of 1,000 subscribers this year, I think I'm like at 35 or 36, I can't remember, but um, so subscribe, help me out here, and I will see you guys in the next video, bye.